Well, welcome back to CG Bros. Uh, in this second tutorial on the PDI uh, Shatter It feature within the Pull Down It plugin for Maya, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, shattering our object that we created in our first uh, tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and instead of using the, um, the uniform shatter style, we're going to go ahead and use the pivot based shatter style. And you can see here if, um, that where our pivot is located on our object here. We can move that about if we want. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit the insert button. I'm going to move my pivot point um, down here towards the center of the bottom here, maybe towards the origin. Okay, set so that as our pivot point. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, set to our default 1000 uh, number of shards. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see the way this fractures out here and it distributes across our mesh here uh, based on the pivot based uh, shatter it method. So let's go ahead and do that now. You can see where the pivot is based. It's really giving you a nice concentration of, uh, of sh fragments uh, and uh, as farther away from the uh, pivot point there, uh, the larger the pieces. And that actually gives for a nice uh, you know, force-based simulation if you're actually using this for something like that where a character might come down and you know, smash into some concrete or something like that. Okay, so you can see actually the width of the pieces as they actually move away from the, the pivot uh, point here. Uh, and that's actually what this width setting controls. Let's go ahead and undo this and uh, take a look at uh, changing that uh, setting. Let's go ahead and set this uh, setting to 0.1 and refracture this. Now what we can see here is actually the the, the width of the objects as they are uh, uh, graduating from, uh, away from the pivot is much finer. And so we've actually got our number of shards set at a threshold of 1,000. We're going to get a lot, a lot of nice detail in here. And we can actually take a quick look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and undo that. Let's go ahead and set our fracture width at, say, 0 0.7. Let's go ahead and select our objects and do the same. You can see the distribution is much wider uh, from the pivot than it was previously with a lower setting. Pivot base is quite nice for the uh, for, for dynamic simulations, as I was mentioning earlier, when you're doing some uh, force-based simulations. There you go. Okay, that's the pivot base fracture. 